Hey there, hello, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to another tournament. Here we're live from TPT Sawgrass. We have the 50s, 60s, and 2010s players competing here in beautiful TPT Sawgrass with a normal course, normal green, standard rough, moderate northeastern winds, and the red pin to easiest pin. The first two tournaments at Austin and Scottsdale have done with this group. Peter Thompson and Dustin Johnson have won, so they will get to Augusta for the final 72-man battle royale. Five rounds of play at Augusta. No cuts. There will be no cuts at all. Everyone plays the 72 holes. So anyway, we'll tee off here. We will be following, I believe, let's see here. We will be fe watching George Netson of Canada. He's in the first pair, second pairing with Doug Sanders and Tommy Bolt. Doug Sanders. Nice to down on the right hand side. Tommy Bolt. Known for his throwing the club in, in anger. Um, Doug Sanders is known for making a terrible putt in the 1970 British Open that lost him there. Tommy Bolt's up and shot. Oh, that's good. That's very good. That's it. Whoops. I'm not going to. Up there. Sanders. And it's something. Oh, the pretty putt. Could be a pitch for Nutson. Nutson. Alright, that's good. Half for Birdie. Overshot it. Oof. Bolton. Bolton with the hit. Sanders for four. Okay. That's okay. Nutson gets it in. So after So after every hole. After three holes, we will take a look at the leaderboard. Although, it must be said that it doesn't look the same as Tommy Bolt. Let's see then. I think Bolt was black, but I like it. And let's him keep it around. Easy part five. Alright, so this will not work for Sanders. Oh, he's in the hazard. Well, that's what happens when they go wide right. Bolt. Second shot. He's over. He'll have a chip. He'll have a chip shot. To try to get Bird Nutson. Nope. And he'll flip up. Sanders flip. Sanders. Okay, that's not bad. Nutson. Nutson trying to curl it, but not so much. Bolt. Bolt on the back side. Is that in? Close. Well, he'll have an easy birdie. Nutson for birdie. That's a pretty short by two feet. The par. Sanders for par. So far. Yep, it is. It's a par five. And for Bertie. Bolt gets it. So Tommy Bolt gets Bertie. This is only the second group to go out on Sawgrass. We're doing this because, you know, national pride. Doug Sanders. I know that two of the four groups of the four leagues have, can have a Canadian in it. I was going to. Try to put one Canadian in each group, but no. That wouldn't be fair. Doug Sanders. Okay, he's close. Okay, okay. Bolt. Oh, he's close too. Okay, okay, okay. That's in for Birdie. Overshot. Sanders for four. Yes. That's in for four. And Bolt. So right now, Scott Piercy is the only other guy other than. Tommy Bolt to be under par right now. So, okay, well, there's a few more. But anyway, here's Bolt, par for fourth. Oh, okay, a little too much there. Sanders. Sanders, looking for center. That's not bad. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad. This is a par four. Sanders over the water. He's got it, and he's very close. So I think that's a good shot. That's it. On the other hand, oh, cuts it down a little bit. That's not bad. And now, Bolt. Bolt. Oh, this, this that area. Oh, he's on the fringe. He'll putt for par. Well, he missed. So now, well, that's it for birdie. First of all, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he had it. He had it. Sanders for 30. 
Mr. Daisy? Yes, it is. So we have to go to the Sanders. Corner to park. Corner to the fifth. Left bad down the game side. Saving himself from three to three. That's in. He's not in the sand, thank God. Bolt. Okay, that's okay. Down the left side. I'm not scared. No, that's it. Second shot for Nutson. He'll have to let up. Sanders. So got it. He hits the part of the bunker. I mean, built. He's somewhere. Nutson. Nutson. Mm, not good. Sanders. Did he put it in? No, he didn't. I got a part, though. Bolt. Might as well, might as well try. Oh, and he almost pulled it off. That'll get a part. A simple part. And he overshoots it. Not the best idea. Blue belt. Sanders on minus one. Bolt it even. And that's in one under. One over through five. On to the sixth. Good. That looks good. That looks fantastic. 291. Tommy Bolt. Ooh. Whoa. Did that just knock off a tree? It did. What a shot. Nudson. Oh, man. Suggestion for a bolt. Well, at least he's in the green. And Mr. Nudson. Okay. And Mr. Sanders. Doug Sanders. Okay. Not bad. This is for Birdie. Oh, he missed. But, given what he did off that tree, the car's okay. That's it. Overshot it. Oh, rubber ducky. Sanders. He puts it down, that Sanders. For Birdie. That's it. Well, he's a car. Back to the summary. And right now, Phil Rogers. Three birdies in three holes. So, he looks good. Doug Sanders is minus two. He's, he's in second right now. Granted, this is early on, but, I mean, you never know what could happen. Sanders. Well, looks a little light. Tommy Bolt. A little to the right as well. The wind's been tucking him off. Will Nudson be ruined by the wind? Nope, he went wide left. Is that one? Tommy Bolt. Oh, well, he's still alive. Nudson. Okay, that's not bad. Sanders. No, he's in the bunker. That's it. That's it. Okay, he's like five feet away. Oh, it's five yards away. Sanders. Trying to get cozy up close for a 30 attempt. Oh, no, sorry, for a par. Bolt. Oh, a little bit more. He would have had it. This is for par. He puts it down. There's a little bit of bunk right there. That's it. He puts it down. The bolt will put us down. Oh, yeah. So they all get pops. Yeah, this is early. 144 golfers, 58. No, wait. 48 groups. We'll be going through. The part 3, 219. Oh, it's the same track. Not enough. Bolt. A little bit to the right. And Hudson. Oh, not enough. The wind knocked it down. Sanders. Is he close? Ah, sorry about that. Freaking Discord going up. That's in. He's close. Some kind. Sorry, it's my WWE Champions group. Uh, Tommy Bolt? Okay. Now they all have par pucks. And that's in this is. Not good. He's not too over par. Sanders. Puts it down. Bolt? He can't put his down. Doug Sanders is at 200 par. Bolton Nudson are above par. Now, this is only round one. Round two is when you get worried because it's cut up day. Part five, ninth hole. Bolt. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Nudson. The Canadian, well, he's kind of early. So now, they set up their second shots. Okay, that looks fantastic. So we'll set up the third shot to go for birdie. Sanders. Oof. Bolt. Oh, high up. He's closer to the pin with the bunker. Nudson. 
That's in. Oh, did that just hit the pin? It hit the pin. It hit the pin. That could have been an eagle. Well, he's got 30 opportunities. Sanders. That looks okay. That looks okay. Yep. And now Bolt. Bolt. Going right at it. Oh, a little over. I think they all might have birdie. Sanders. Yes, sir. We're in the car on the front of the line. Bolt. No, he missed a five footer. How? Nothing will have his birdie. One over. So right now, as it stands right now, Sanders has the lead. Rogers and Don Bees. B I E S. You see Reagan and Scott Piercy there. They're the first group that was out on the golf course. So Sanders technically has the lead right now, of course. So now we go to the test. Doug Sanders will lead off. Three under par. Number front nine. Both in Nets and Nets a match. One over par themselves. That's it. That's pretty good. That's right down the center. Down the Broadway and Bolt. Let's see his shot. What the hell was that? Yikes. Well, he's fucked. He's totally fucked. Well, that's not bad. He might have a miracle par. That's in. Okay, that's not bad. And Sanders. Sanders, a little bit to the rough. He'll have to pitch it. The pitch, and he's close. Two yards away. For par. So Bolt will have a bogey. He just saved it. Nets in for Brady. For 13. Overshot. By a lot. And now he'll have a bogey. And Sanders for par. Yes. Sanders looks good. The other two, not so much. Wait till the 17 hole happens. That famous 17 hole. Part 5, you gotta go over some water. Bridge over troubled water. That's it. That's down the pipe. And bolt. Pretty good. Pretty bad. Tight shot. Carry the water. Will he carry the water? He does. He hits that big bunker. But remember, that was. This will be his third shot out of part five. So I think you don't mind that. If you have good bunker shots. Sanders. Oh, oh that's pretty close. Within a yard. Nutson. Oh, down the slope. So that's going to be one, three yards. And now Bolt. Oh, yeah. These guys know how to play it. This is for Birdie. They all have Birdies. Nutson overshoots it. Sanders for Birdie. Yes, sir. Round the park. And he wants for birdie. Yeah. That's it. Just pissed off at himself. He missed the golden chance to get a birdie in the close spot. Doug Sanders is now four under par. He's technically the leader right now. But then again, I mean, we are just starting off. This is only the second group that started. Sanders, Bolt. Very well done. Now that's in. That's in. I got their own turn. All the deep in the pit shots. Sanders. Uh, oh, draws it back beautifully. That's it. And he saw that coming and did okay. And now Bolt. Sorry about that. Stupid to heal up everyone. So, anyway, this is for Birdie. That's, oh, my gosh, he was right there. That would have been a nice boomerang punch for the. For the bird, here comes Sanders. This birdie, he missed a little too much. Bolt, who puts it down? And now Sanders will have to come back for par. He's got it. So he's at four under par. Doug Sanders, done buys at four under par. He looks decent. All that. So anyway, yeah, it's a duck bite. Art Wall Jr. with that eagle already on second. So Art Wall trying to make an impact. Bolt down part three. There's water. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to go wide left. Thankfully, though, he didn't. Sanders. Oh, that's good. Look how good. And now, Nudson. Oh, a little to the right. Left center, right. Nudson will have to pitch. Oh. Is he on the green? Yes, he is. This is for Birdie. Nope, he missed. That's it. For par. Nope. He'll have to bogey and he's at three over par. Not good. 
and it's for good. Overshot. Pull the card. Yes, sir. Sanders for fun. Yes, sir. So, Dougie Sanders trying to become the leader, the early leader, if you might. For 414. Lots of water in this one. And so, yes. That I see fit. Doug Sanders. I've not seen this course on this game. George Nunson. I really didn't cheer for Sanders. I guess I played behind a pair in the fairway. Bolt. Wide right. Plugged. Nunson. He's got it. And where's that going? Off the green, I bet. Uh, oh, he's on the fairway. Sanders. Where's Cubs? Oh, he's fucked. He's fucked. That's going to go off the green. Now pitch for Bolt. Nutson <laughs> says, why not? That's why not. 27 feet. Sanders? What is wrong with Nutson's putting? Bolt for par. Oh my gosh, what a shot. Safe par. Sanders for par? Yes. Nutson for bogey. Plus four. He's just having a terrible day. I feel like I want to get rid of Nudson and pick up another Canadian. But then again, it's like kind of stupid, don't you think? Because we we're close to the 17th hole. The ninth thing. Dan Bolt. Sanders. Ooh. A little off. And now Nudson. Okay, that's fine. He's in the corner. Okay. bad. Now, second shot for everyone. Sanders. Sanders. Not enough distance to go in. That's it. He's close. Tommy Bolt. Uh, very close. That's it. Says, why not? Cut. That's why not. Well, anyway. Sanders for 53. Okay, he's got a decent cut. Bolt. Hey. For par. He gets it back. Sanders for par. He puts it down and Nutsen for par. There you go. Nutsen's just not doing anything. So Sanders and Phil Rogers, Don Bees, and Billy Maxwell. Not a lot of household names. I don't know if Rogers, Bees, and Maxwell are household names. Unless you know what, what generation you're in. Phil Rogers is now at 500 par. You'll see the 17th pole. Well, this is part five first. Ooh, off the fairway. Third bolt. Sanders. Ooh, right down, center right. Yes. Now, Nutsen. Oh, a kid. Now, second shot. Bolt. Turn to left. Oh, that's a little too far right. Sanders. Ooh. Well, that bunker kind of saved him. Nutsen. Okay, the bunker saved them. Bunker saved them because he didn't hit the water. Bolt. Okay. That's going to be a tight shot. Sanders, third shot. Sanders, is he close to him? Mm, maybe. Nudson. Nudson, is he going to be close? I don't know. Bolt for par. It was close, so he'll get a bogey. One over. Now, Sanders for three. Nope, he just missed. Could have had it. He knew. Where's Nudson for birdie? He puts it down. So Nudson's at four over par. Well, he got something back. Now the 17th. Here we go. The Island Green. The signature hole, if you will. Here we go. Look. Oh, let's see if Nudson can do it in one. Well, he's not in the green, but he didn't hit the water. Sanders. Oh, that's wide left. So the famous dropping zone. Bolt. Oh, that's not even close. So they get the drop zone. Nutson. I'm surprised he's the only one that got across in one. Bolt. Oh, oh my gosh. That looked like he got it in. Now he'll have to pitch it up. This will probably be a par. 
but at least he doesn't drop a script like the other two guys. Anyway, three bogeys, not good. That's in. Overshoots this five foot car pipe. Yikes. A lot of good bogeys. No. That wasn't smart by any stretch of the imagination. All right, so we're going to go to 18. Brandon Grace with a triple bogey right at the start. The South African. Let's in. Water down the left hand side. Completely down the left hand side. Lots of water inside this. Oh, centers. Oh, fuck. Bolt. Well, you got it, man. Doug Sanders. Yeah, giant choke job. Yeah, see, why couldn't you do it like that the first time? Second shot. Next shot for Sanders. Okay. That's it. Oh no, that's why I left. But the bunker caught it. At least it's not both. Oh, the shot. Let me touch my. So. That's in. Okay, you're close. Tommy Bolt. And okay. Boogie. Cut. Double bogey for Sanders. Minus one. Bolt for par. I. That's it. For par. These guys are both for bogey. Well, terrible one for Bolt and Nelson. Sanders fell right off, and Phil Rogers looks like he's gonna take it. We are gonna simulate for you the rest of the turn, the rest of the round. Oh yeah, I forgot about the whole freaking AI bullshit. The little round of the day. I thought I stopped that option. I'll have to fix that. I apologize. Russell Knox. Sorry about that. Oh, he hit the water. Rogers Knox. Well, good for him. He saved his bacon. Sifford. Yes. Phil Rogers. Okay. Sifford. Knox for Eagle. No. Rogers for Par. He missed. He had the bogey. Sifford gets the birdie. Beautiful. Knox for birdie. Sorry about that. It always does that. It's a few low round, round, low round from 16. It's all American in this one. We're going to play it out. Shane Lowry Eagles, so he's at minus three. So right now, do we have a clubhouse leader? Kind of. We do. Is Reagan and Dex Sanders. And Scott Piercy all went under par 71. So anyone can take the lead. I think it'll be Phil Rogers who will take the early lead. Wes Ellis. With a birdie, he's at four under par. Jonathan Vegas with that eagle on two, so he's starting off quickly. Phil Rogers is five under par, 67. Russell Henley with a triple bogey at four. Let's want to see if anyone's going to catch Rogers. Billy Maxwell might. Maxwell might be your leader. Might be the leader after round one. Well, James Hahn with a minus four, so it's Don Buys. Maxwell will finish with a 66, so he's in the lead at minus 6. Danny Willett's trying to get something going. He once won the Masters. I think 2016, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so too. Minus 5. Will Danny Willett get birdie? Plus Ellis Eagles on 11, so he's at 4 under par. Danny Willett. <laughs> He will not get there. He bogeyed. Well, here's Dustin Johnson. He's already won a tournament. He's trying to win his second. 17, one more. Full. And he ends up with a... Come on. Bogey? Guess minus four. Jeff Fleck with a terrible triple bogey. Well, Wes Ellis is trying to catch Maxwell. Jay Lowry, too. Wes Ellis is now 700 par. He has the lead through 14. Fifteen. There's Lionel Haber coming out of nowhere. Francisco Mariani, Roberto Di Crescencio coming out of nowhere. Roberto's at 600 par now, so he's trying to make things happen. Wes Ellis is 700 par. 
wonder what 17 will do to him. Not much. Oh, bogey. Cal Nagel's now minus four. Okay, Ozzy. Was Ellis? Is he going to take the lead? No, he's tied Maxwell. So it's Maxwell and Ellis. Deep Essentials at 600 par 314. Hey, Bears, 500 par 315. He falters flat. Deep Essentials. Jonathan Vegas will go on to 17. And Roberto Eagles on 16. So now he's got the lead at minus 8. But what will 17 do to him? Hey, fuck him up. Uh, sorry, something to speak. Probably Facebook. For some reason. Yeah. Well, the potential dropped a stroke. Could have been worse. Will he maintain the lead? Roberto? Yes, he does. Seven under par. So, which Steve Essential's got the lead. Cal Nagel will need a miracle to catch Steve Essential. And I don't think he will. Doug Ford. Not that Doug Ford. The golfer Doug Ford. The 1957 Masters Champion. Four under par through nine. He's the only one up there. But there's lots of minus threes. Sometimes. Four, it's at five under par. Can he catch Steve Essential? Personally, I say no. Because, no. I know that... Tom Newport and Jason Day have second places. I don't see them. I don't. Well, Dustin Johnson's de de decent. And Peter Thompson, I don't see. Well, Doug Ford, let's see if he can do something about it. He's 500 par through 13. Bob Goldby's right there. Kyle Stanley. Charlie Hoffman and Moose Boost Tyson. They're a scary player. He's making a move. Brian Gay is making a move. Doug Ford? Where is he? Well, Doug Ford's at 600 par 315. But you got to remember, the 17 is a bitch. Ford. Will Boogie go to minus 5? He'll have that 17 pole to deal with. Kerry Woodland, you see there, minus 4 through 12. Uh, Ford, how does he do in the hole? Oh, he parts it. Okay. So if Birdie would tie him for second. There's Gary Woodland, minus 5 through 13. Who's, who's tasting? Bob Goldby, Justin Thomas. There's a good golfer. And Ford will end up at 5 under par. Two strokes off the lead right now. You see Kyle Stanley, Gary Woodland, and Bob Goldby trying to make money moves. DA points, minus 5 through 12. So we got to look through them. And... Uh, Goldby and Woodland are now 600 par through 16. Unfortunately, you know the 17th. See, Goldby parred and Woodland parred. Okay, fair enough. Justin Thomas is catching up 600 par through 15. And Goldby and Woodland both birdie. Both par. Justin Thomas is 700 par. If he can par the next two holes, he's got a tie right now. Remember, the first two rounds, the groups are set in stone. Oh, Thomas, birdie, go kick. Par, excuse me. Good idea. Good Highland Green is a bitch. And nope, Justin Thomas. Oh, there's Peter Thompson right there. Speak of the devil. Minus five, the first winner. Can Thompson do something about it? I think he's part of the last group. And he bogeyed. I was 17. What do you expect? I wonder if Thompson's part of the last group. Uh, I guess not, because I. I would have said next round. So, of course, we got. Oh, there's Jack Burke Jr., minus 5 through 11. Minus 6 now. Don't sleep on him. He's coming out of the woodwork. Minus 6 through 13 for Jack Burke Jr., who won the 1957 Masters? No, he won a Masters because of our Palmer choking. I think it was 1956. Ford was like 58, I thought, right? Yes, so. Sandra Schleifley. I guess with the lack of players on the golf course. Webb Simpson, quadruple bogey. Well, it is the 17th, you know. Sander, will he get a birdie here? No. And I think we'll have the next round marker coming up soon. Yep, we will. All right. So, after one round, Roberto Di Vicencio, the guy who lost the 1968 Masters thanks to his playing partner Tommy Aaron's big blunder, scorecard blunder, and Justin Thomas are both at 700 par. They lead with Billy Maxwell, Wes Ellis, Bob Goldby, speak of the devil, 
for defense central. And Gary Woodland at six under par. And running out the top ten, well, tied for seven. Phil Rogers, Jonathan Vegas, Charlie Hoffman, Doug Ford, not that one, Jack Burr Jr., and Sander Scheifele. So as we go to the next round, we'll show you the cut line. The cut line is right now plus one. So 94 golfers would get in with an even par or better. The worst rounds were Jack Fleck and Forborn Olsen. Jack Fleck, I think he went at Masters one, one time, can't remember. Plus fives of Brandon Steele, Don January, Orville Moody, and Bo Winninger. You see the Canadian George Nutson. Right near the bottom, too. He had a terrible round, and you got to see it live. So, 700 part is the leader, and we'll deal with that later. I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.